Well, once again, we got another video from All Star Weekend. Now, we got this young brother that found out that his girl just really wanted to go thot it up an All Star Weekend. And I want you to see the video. I kind of feel bad for dude, but let's go ahead and roll that clip. Like, you ain't going to do shit? And you saying that you want to work shit out and you want, you're not going to go out? And you go out fucking three days in a row? I hate you so much. Now, young brother, you know, a lot of us been there, you know, before in our lifetime, we have gotten rid of the wrong ones that just want to go, you know, whore it out somewhere. And, you know, I heard what he was saying about working it out. See, let me tell you, uh, young brothers, you know, how sometimes they pull these stunts. So when you're dealing with a, you know, young woman that wants to be in the streets before a certain event, when they want to go thot it up or they want to just go fool around with some dude, but they still kind of want to hang on to you a little bit. Sometimes they'll create an argument, right? On something insignificant, blow it up keep this mess up and then they get to the point where maybe I just need a, a break. You know, I'm not saying we really breaking up. But I just need a break. I need some space or I need some time or may, maybe we can just kind of, you know, separate a little bit, do something, you know, and we just, while we are figuring it out. Right. A lot of times your mind, you might, okay, well maybe, well maybe she needs some space. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I, you know, I care about her. Okay. Maybe something going on. We, we have been getting into it. But it's been her the whole time starting stuff with you, right? Pushing your buttons, doing a whole lot of things, getting a drag out of argument with you. And then she says some things like that when she want to kind of still keep you around. But see, she'll start this mess around spring break. She'll start around all star weekend. That's our plan. Or she want to start something with you and she want to go on this vacation with her girls or whatever. And, and, and she don't want to feel some sort of way about going thought it up out there wherever she's going to be a little a uh, whore at. And then, you know, after she do that and, and, and she get uh, whatever she get out of her system, then she may come back to you and say, well, you know, let's work it out. And this and the third, or also you can go in the deeper sense. Let's say even in a marriage, when you have one of them say, well, why don't we separate now? The best advice I'm going to give you young brothers is that you got to be cutthroat when they pull little stunts, like they need time. Cool. Take your time and then walk off. Don't even cut all ties. Well, I wasn't saying I want to just like completely like not talk anymore. I was saying I need some time. No, 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 no. Take all the time you need. Take that. Because when, when, when you are sitting up there, you know, throwing it back for some dude, I don't want to get my feelings hurt behind it. So go ahead and do you. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to get no calls from your, 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 your homies like, hey, man. I seen your girl, you know, over here at this club hooked up with some dude. Like I thought y'all was like trying to work something out. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so y'all dudes got to stop falling for that. It's the same thing with a marriage. If a woman tells you, well, maybe we should get separated. Hell no. I don't do separation. Either I'm 10 toes in or I'm out. That's how I am by any situation. Either you're in or you're out. You don't do that in between. Because that's when you start getting phone calls from people talking about, yeah, I seen your your uh, your your wife or I seen your whatever out here doing something, and you thinking we trying to work that stuff out. Listen, we ain't gonna work it out right here, right now. Then we don't need to work nothing out at all. Understand? Like I said, we all been there. We all been there. We all got our feelings hurt that way, and sometimes some of us can't get past a situation like that. So some of us are getting mad, and we be going on a tirade online. You know what I'm saying? Going off on anything that looked close to um, what happened to us, right? But move on. Let, let her do her. Because let me tell you what I've seen in, in my lifetime with little women like that. They lose sometimes a good dude a lot of times. And then after they had a few babies, they ain't got knocked upside the head a few times, probably by the little dudes that they're chasing. They ain't got nothing going on. Now here they come calling you again. You know, you're doing all right for yourself. You know, you moved on. You probably got you a, a great girl now. She may even have your wife. And then they want to be trying to call you or say, hey, hey, you talked to you in a long time. Like, huh? I said, what? You get what I'm saying? 
That's the best revenge ever is to do better. You know, I always tell brothers this, the best revenge on everybody. Okay. Any woman that do you wrong, it, people that count you out, society going to count you out anyway, because we just live in a freaking racist society. The best way you can beat everybody is just winning brothers, winning, win at life. Don't let nobody kick you down. Don't let no woman hurt your feelings. Like have the attitude F all y'all. I'm going to sit here and make sure I make some of myself. Then later you're going to wish that you wouldn't have did that mess. You understand what I'm saying? That's the best way to be. But we all been there. Like I said, just, just let, let her go. Let, let her get ran through. And you just move on to somebody else, man. Like that's all you got to do. And, and trust me, a lot of times from my experience, when you move on from that one, you always will get you something better. If you know how to pick right. Because she had signs that she was a little uh, a Jezebel, okay? She had the signs with there. You just got to just pay attention to the signs. And a lot of times when you care about a little woman, you don't pay attention to the signs. You don't pay attention to the line. You don't pay attention to Because trust me, one thing about, you know, little, little women like that, they lie on top of line. They lie as much as they breathe. So you got to be real cautious, brothers, about the lying. Like even if it's a small thing, if she lie about something small, she definitely lie about something big. Just have a zero tolerance to her lying all the time. Tell her, look, tell me the truth. Whatever it is, we can work that out. But just tell me the truth. Because I'm telling you from personal experience, you get a woman that lie, it's going to bite you in the end. I know this. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, this young brother. You know, what he's going through. You know, feel for him. I really do. But um, he'll be all right.